Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm here to build up this opera house. Yeah. What's today's video about? It's all about the brand new event that just came out. And of course, there goes everything. The <laughs> the Phantom Ransom. Um, what was that just now? This Hold up. First time singing in opera, but I'll give my all. A worthy phantom thief always ensures the success of the crimes she forewarns. This is my first time singing. I guess I had never actually thought about what Karina sounds like. In my mind, it was always like, um, not that. <laughs> it's a that's actually like a pirate voice, but I'm very interested to see what the hell she would sing like. Anyway, let's go into it. Uh, this is a brand new event. As, as always, it's just a facility event, so it's easy enough to grind. I just felt like grinding it a bit because it had been a while since I did a Dragalia thing. So that's what today's video is going to be. Hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like and subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. Comment too. Tell me how you feel. The new banner's not out yet. Um, that's going to come pretty soon. So there's a part of me that really feels like that's going to be another Gala Dragalia because... We usually get like one or two a month, and I hate it whenever they start a new event and they don't show the banner right away. It always makes me feel like, oh, it just means that there's going to be Galadragalia. And I always think it's real shitty. I think it's real shitty that they're going to do a Galadragalia right when the free multis end, but whatever. It's just not right. Uh, I don't think it's right anyway. I don't think it's very cool for them to do. But at least this event should give me plenty of tickets now. Alright, let me... I forget, is there some- I think I need level 7 in the Opera House? Yeah, I need like level 8. So let's... Let me see how much I can do now. Honestly, I should just use my stupid ticket thingies. I was thinking of just waiting, but then I have like 1,000 of these damn tickets. I hate this facility grind right here, so I'm just going to bop, because who cares? Here's a hammer. Bop. Leave my sight. Bop. Don't care. Hustle hammers. I have over 200 hustle hammers. When am I ever going to use any of these hustle hammers except for now? I have a thousand hustle hammers. Uh, if you're wondering why do I have so much, it's because back when I started Dragalia, there were no hustle hammers. Um, you had to do all this shit manually. So I did all that manually. I waited the hours. Um, and in some cases, I used Wormite for some of them. Uh, specifically for... Um, the facility events, I used Wormite on it, just because I got tired of waiting. Um, there we go. Perfect. Um, I really don't like the, the lead-up. 30 levels is just stupid. Um, for such a slow grind, they should really cut... And in general, I feel like they need to upgrade the facility stuff. Tell me how you feel about it. But I feel like the facility stuff is way too old. The fact that we're running out of space sucks. Just because uh, back in the old days, if you put something in storage, you would lose its bonus. That's not the way anymore. So they kind of just expect you to um, do that now. And I think that sucks. I think there should be more space. And there goes everything. There we go. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Why they would treat it that way. You got it, girl. Alright, let's see if I unlock the next part of it. The less so far story. I do like this change to facility events though. The they used to make you fight a whole bunch of like random mobs, um, which you can still do in the old events, but now couple story, no fighting, just go, which I think is great. Um, I think the faster you can get to specifically the boss fights and everything else, the better, because otherwise it's, just, it's literally just filler. Um, I get- it just doesn't make any sense why they would just purposely add filler to something that doesn't really need filler. At least that's what I think. But I like to change- they changed this so that it doesn't have to be that way. I'm gonna go here so I can get a dragon real quick. Here we go. Quick. Wow. These should all die in like three seconds. Yeah, that's what I thought. I killed them so quick they couldn't even show up in time. Behold the might of my resolve. There we go. Meow. Dead. Meow. I will keep everyone safe, even if the cost is my life. You don't have to go that far, girl. Don't worry. Alright. Perfect. 
Let's see. Hello, Karina. Yar. I share and share. Like, be sure to take anything you need. Summon voucher. Thank you. I do need all this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Whoa, that's different. I don't remember there being a reward for this. Maybe it's because the harder event. Yeah, probably. That's a challenge battle. Go into master. Yeah, beat him up, man. Well, in my case, a bunch of ladies in there. Oh, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what they do. I'm pretty sure that the Phantom Thief is going to be another um, gun unit, which is good. The more mana casters we have in the game, the better. Because currently it sucks ass to summon for a mana caster, because there's exactly one mana caster in the entire banner. So the chances of you, at least with other units, you have like, oh, man there's a hope for something, but now when you get mana caster, you have about a 50-50 chance of getting screwed over. It's really kind of sad. <laughs> In general, I think they should have rolled out mana caster with some threes and fours, because the current iteration of it, where it's currently only five stars that have it, kind of sucks. At least I think it sucks. Not a big fan of it. I would like it if there were more uh, three and four mana casters. Like, one for each element, at least. I think that's fair enough. Maybe, like, uh, a couple threes, and, like, a th two, two, sh uh, one shadow and one um, light for mana casters, and then the rest can be, um, the other elements can be um, four mana casters. You know, it just makes sense. Then you would actually also have a reason to create, um, other stuff, I guess. You know, I think it makes sense. It makes sense to me. It makes perfect sense to me. There we go. Let's go down. Yo. Opera house. Whose house? Opera house. This is really what a lot of facility stuff is. I'm showing you the pure, uncut fantasticness of the opera house. <laughs> Oh, I think I might be able to stop. I just realized, did I not unlock an extra battle? I totally didn't. Alright, let's go do that. I should totally do that. And then at that point, I will have done everything that's needed of me. Go here. So usually it takes three fights. Um, if it's not a rerun. On a rerun, it can show up as easy as one fight. I've never had it show up in less than three fights. During a regular facility event. During a rerun, sure, but during a regular time, never. Alright, leave it there. I will make this mission a success. We will overcome this. This power will help me. I will keep everyone Let's safe, see. even if the cost is my life. I was just seeing the what people are talking about in the Dragon Ball Legends chat. Just trying to figure out whether or not Chompa is bait, and the answer is it doesn't matter. Because they're all going to summon on it anyway. Shoutouts to all the people <laughs> in Dragon Ball Legends chat who, who see this. I love them all. They're great dudes. I don't like Dragon Ball Legends anymore. Um, I like those dudes, though. There's definitely a lot of bad people in the community of Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, but I think there's a decent amount of good people there who just want to jo enjoy their game and live life. And to them, I say, enjoy your game. It's not for me anymore. It still isn't for me. No amount of changes will make it not for me, I guess. Unless they fix everything. In which case, then, it's just the best gotcha in the world. Best impossible. Because we got Dragalia, boys! It's hard to go to, to a game like Legends where- and to be fair, Legends is making better strides for it. But to, it's so weird to go to any gotcha that it doesn't have a, the amount of fan feedback that Dragalia has. Because Dragalia has fan feedback that's insane. Like, the, for, the, for a good instance, people complained about Halloween Alley. And we immediately got like a, sorry, we'll, we'll look into it. And it's like, whoa, I've never seen a gotcha really do that. And they, the reason was because there was an overwhelming, like, no, this is terrible. Um... Please, in some way, either fix it or make it better. Um, jury still out if they were able to do that. I'm not 100% sure. Because um, she feels exactly the same to me, but... I don't know. 
it's weird. But the thing is, is what I was trying to say, going to a gacha that just doesn't have any communication with the community anymore, just, I, I, it doesn't feel right to me. Feels wrong. Feels wrong in some way. Yarr, one-eyed monster. Now I beat them all down. Oh, we'll what? I'll act quickly. You're dead. Hit him right in the ass. Wow. I also like the change to the Worm Prince made this eventing real easy because now I can just get the full event prints and not have to worry about anything. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, fancy. Thank you for the awards. And I think with that, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time whenever there's some Jigalia news. But just know, in the background, I'm just playing. It's what I do, man. I just play Dragalia. <laughs> I don't do anything fancy with Dragalia. I just play Dragalia. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.